Hi, this is Tess from Hidden Achievement. Welcome to Pictodon Tech Demo number one. Today we're going to be looking at a little bit of the R&D work I've been doing for Pictodon. Now I've added a placeholder character that I've modeled so I can demonstrate what I'm working on. This one already has hair and skin tone and such, but in the future you'll be able to pick all these things yourself. Now I've also roughed in a bit of the interface for you so you can kind of see where I'm going with it. Over here we have our modes. We're currently in create mode but there's also dress and pose and snap, which we will not be showing today. Uh, we have some rotating buttons up here, as you can see, they rotate the head for the moment. Ultimately in create mode, we're also gonna be able to modify the body, but right now we're just gonna be demonstrating the mouth for today because that's what I have wired up for you. And over here we have some drawers that have some settings in them. Although right now, all I have is a slider hooked up because the first thing we're gonna be talking about today is sliders. Now I'm probably going to be using sliders for some large systemic changes like body weight and musculature and things like that. But for your fine tuning, we're not going to be using sliders and I'm going to talk about that right now. Uh, a lot of character customization systems and games use sliders, but there are three fundamental problems with them. Sliders have confusing names. For example, how do you name all the metrics of a nose in a meaningful way? You've got the width and the length of the point and the width of the point and the bridge. Oh, geez. Yeah, it's really complicated. Uh, but also a slider may be for a different angle than the one you're looking at right now. And so you may be sliding it back and forth. and It looks like there's nothing happening and you don't know why it doesn't make any sense. And then you find out later on that you accidentally gave yourself a really, really long nose or a really, really short nose because you couldn't see what you were doing. Uh, and the third problem is when you're using a slider, you're controlling a UI element that isn't where your eyes are. So your eyes are here on the face, but your UI elements up over here and and so that's not an intuitive way to manipulate things. Uh, so we wanted to do something a little bit different with this. And so what I've done instead is I've created something I call control points. Now I'm gonna zoom in here so you can kind of see how these work. Uh, as you can see, there's ones with little arrows going right and left, up and down, and these funny ones with what looks like bullseyes on them. Now the left and right ones kind of do what you would imagine. Up and down ones kind of do what you would imagine. It's all pretty intuitive. And these bullseye ones are just for scaling things up and down. You can make them fatter and thinner. All pretty simple. Now it gets even cooler when we rotate. You can see the control points are just the ones that are relevant to your current angle. And so we have these which are only relevant to you when you're looking at them from the side. Now let's come back around here and we're going to make a very silly face for you real quick. Just so you can see that the deformations are doing what you would expect them to do as though you were using a slider system. So we're giving this character this very square masculine jaw and we're going to draw out the lips really wide and zoom in a little so we can see those scalars. There we go. And then put this up here. And now you see you have a very silly face, but the rest of the face has shaped itself around it in a way that makes sense. And that's our demonstration for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have fun.